All right, guys, we're back with another episode. Mommy and Daddy Talk. Obviously, I have to carry this because that's what I do. I'm, I'm built for that, though. I'm, I'm Daddy, and that makes sense. Um, I actually don't know where Mommy is right now, but, you know, sometimes it takes a man to do the job to get it done right. Yeah, honestly, it does. And uh, today's one of those days. So what we're going to talk about today. It, yeah. I made you lunch. No, I was just going to do the whole episode. No, I made you lunch. I, sorry, I was cooking. This looks. Um, um, and I have a whole big fork for a big guy. Um, this looks. There you go. You said you cooked it. Yeah, I made this. I made this from scratch. This looks a lot like um, a restaurant. Yeah, I lo I love to resemble my food from like I love to make burgers and like put in in and out wrapping, so it feels like you're eating unhealthy when you're not. If that makes sense. But yeah, I hope. Can you please do a taste test maybe on camera? So, you're telling me you cooked this. Why does it have the sticker on it that says California Chick Cafe? You had extra stickers like in your kitchen. So I was like, of course, might as well utilize it. Let's Even the one on the dressing? Yeah. Put that on there too for aesthetics. Got it. I kind of feel in the big fork though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, and I got myself a normal fork right here in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <clears throat> Why were you like this for so long? <laughs> I was trying to get it out of my pocket. These Rog Your Sweatpants have the best pockets. So. That's true. We just did a photo shoot. We did. And we Brad, 16 hours. Bradley wants to be me so bad that he copied my outfit. Is this gross that we're eating on the pod? Bro, you literally told me to wear this because you were wearing that. It didn't happen. Why do you... <clears throat> Has you, that happened in the past? Yes. Did it happen this time? No. That's exactly what you said. You said we should match. It'd be so cool to match on the podcast today. I would never say that because I don't want to be affiliated with you words. anymore. I've realized that you're starting oh. to ruin my brand image. You're not very oh. brand safe. Mm. <laughs> I have so many funny jokes that you absolutely I know. I, don't wanna, I just don't want to hear anything you have to say. But Brad and I are going to start going live from now on. Yeah. On um, what platform do you use? Twitch. On Twitch. We're going to yeah. start going live once or twice a week. We're going to hang out and just go live. What are we going to do, I'm though? excited for We're going to play Call of Duty. I also realized how terrible you were at video games today. Well, that didn't You've count. You've been lying for a while. That didn't. That game did not count. Have you, you ever that's heard of, Call of Duty. Have you ever heard of, like, a warm-up? Like, sometimes when you go on a first date with a girl, it's not the best. You know, the vibes aren't, like, amazing. But then the second and date, third date. But is it true? I have a question for you. I don't you. know if you do warm-ups on dates. I have a question for you. Is it true? No, don't bite. I have a question. Okay. Put the food in your mouth. Um, Is it true? Sylvie, you can pitch in as well. Is it true that guys know after the first date, like, if she's, like, the one? I don't know about the one, but you know right away if she's a idiot or not. You know? And by by that, I mean, genuinely, I'm, that's kind of facetious. But I actually mean, like... Like, you know if you want to keep dating her after the first date. A hundred percent. Like, okay, I on, a, like on a conversational level. Because I feel like for girls, like, you'll give someone, like, three, four dates and then, like, vet from there. Mm. I'm so hungry. Sorry. You know what's funny about what? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh, should we stop? Probably. Um. Hmm. Anyways, um, should we go eat and then come back? Maybe, but listen, I want to finish this point. We can come back. We'll we'll eat. We'll take a little break. But your question is really great. Okay, I do think a guy figures out really quickly, like on a conversational level, like whether like they can sustain a relationship. You know, really fast. Mm -hmm. I think girls know really fast too. There's that one moment that happens, and then there's this, the sex thing too. Here We've we talked go again. about this before. Where it's like right away, I think a dude has an idea. And Sylvie, you can correct me if I'm wrong or your perspective. But a dude has a sex with a girl the first time and he knows, like, could I sustain this as well? And you hate that. I don't know why you have That's the look like on gross. your face. But it is what it is. is it right or wrong? It's look. not true. It's true. You'd write someone off completely just because you guys don't. <clears throat> you need that repetition in a relationship to do that. He's saying you need. Sylvie is saying that you need I'm saying this. Okay, I'm not saying like you have sex and you're like, this is the best thing ever or this is the worst thing ever. I think there's like a level to it where like the guy will have sex and be like, oh, I could, this could work. This could be good. This could get better. But it's not like, oh, it's terrible. No. I mean, if it is terrible though, some guys might be like, okay, 
no, just straight up no. There is a level to it. It's like a spectrum. It's like a spectrum. Yeah, you're on that spectrum. I'm definitely on the spectrum, but also every single guy is as well when it comes to this. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, Bradley and I just ate. It was amazing. Wow, I needed that. I needed that too. A little little uh, rest and recovery there. Yeah, that was good. Um, I've been replaced by Sketch, which is totally fine. <laughs> but Brad has a new <laughs> Brad has a new son. I thought I was the son, but apparently you have Sketch. Why do you now. Why do you got replaced by Sketch? It just seems like you know, which I understand. I get it. I mean, I'm I would replace me too for Sketch. Yeah, but it just seems like you work but out I, with him. You do content with him. Like, dude, am I just, a little jealous? Maybe. maybe. Yeah, I could tell. Maybe. But I feel like you'll you'll probably eventually make content with him, anyways. No. Maybe I don't I know. I think he's in the mix. I think he's going to Vegas this weekend. Yeah, I'll be in Vegas. Yeah, you'll be in the mix. Maybe. Aw, you look sad. I'm just jealous. That's it. <laughs> I'm just jealous. I'm just jealous. But why though? Because you want the clout. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait a second. Yes. Wait a second. That is it. No, not just that. I also like filming with you, and you just we Aww. haven't had workouts or anything. So that's true. We should work out again. Yeah, maybe like today. Like, actually. Well, we can't. We're going to do the other stream thing, no? Yeah, but after the stream thing. We get a tr well, then, yeah, we'll probably train at Gold's. Oh, that'd you can be do that. fun. I'm down to do that. Okay. Yeah. Gold's Venice? Yeah. I wish that place was like it was in 2017, man. Yeah. It was such a good time. Why um, was life better in 2017? Was it? Well, how old were you in 2017? I was 16 years old. Okay. <clears throat> we'll just... Forget we said that. I was sixteen. Um, I'm. I was in high school. Things were good in twenty seventeen. Wow. Dude, how I old was, was I in twenty seventeen? What year were you born? Eighty nine. Eighty nine, eleven, twenty eight. Oh wow. I'm significantly older than you. <laughs> you were twenty eight, and I was sixteen. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Anyways, dude, Golds was so sick back then. Really? What was sick about uh, it? It was just like a vibe. Like everyone went there. It was a cool place where like everyone, like kind of how Zoo is now. Yeah. Like everyone went there and it was like near the beach. So like there was, you know, you go to the beach afterwards. Yeah. It's nice. It's bodybuilding vibes. Yeah. Do you like the beach? Yeah. I love the beach. But I guess we're going to go do a stream, I guess, with Nick. Yeah. In GTA Real Life. Yeah. We're going to, Brad, Nick, Brad, Bradley Martin, Nick Narasina and I are going to go to Venice Beach in approximately an hour, an hour and a half after this podcast and play GTA 5 IRL. But chat is going to like dictate what we do. Yeah. Dude, we need to get more into live streaming. I know. I think you and I would be good. We are. We could do it. I'll I'll push that thing back and I'll put a couch back there so we're sitting on a couch when we live stream. A I'm black couch. With, I'm fine with just chairs. So we didn't want the comfy vibes? No. Oh, okay. We could have chairs. Okay. There could be a couch there, too, in case guests come. Why are you obsessed with a couch? Just because it's a vibe. Like, it's not like a weird couch thing. We're not having, like, a weird couch conversation. Okay. It's just, like, there'd be a couch. Oh, my like, God. We have mommy and daddy talk, and then we can have, like, <clears throat> we can name that one, like. Yeah, we could straight up have a whole set. Something else. Dude, that's it. That's it. That whole other computer setup, I could build that, that corner into the setup. Oh, my God. Boom. I think we'd then be my good house together. would be six studios. I think we'd be good together. Yeah, on a stream. Huh? On a stream. Yeah. Like making content together. That's what I'm saying. We'd be good together. Yeah, I agree. On the stream. Yeah. Making content. Yep. Interacting. Together. Yeah, you and I on camera making content, live streaming, doing a business thing. Yeah, that's what Plat I said. Platonic business. Fully. Friends. Business partners. We're best friends. Of course I look through his phone every day. You never. You couldn't. You don't okay. have my password. You know I have your password, actually. To what? Your phone. Really? Yep. What is it? I'm not going to tell the internet. Tell it. Someone can steal your phone and have all your data. You don't have my phone password. Mm -hmm. Actually, you might. You're the type of guy that would, like, peek for people's passwords. So that I am. I am. Yeah. So then you can lurk. Is that weird? No. I'm the same. Okay. Like... What what are like lines in relationships that you would have with a guy like he could if he did something? Obviously, we know the drinking thing; you don't like that. If he did something, you're just like, whoa! Like, but more things like that, like the mm, like immediate, like yeah, where you're like, what? Uh, the f I think if he did look through my phone, everything for you. <laughs> if he breathed, <laughs> right, right. Breathe. 
Yeah, no, if you if he looked through my phone without like if he like asked me about something and I was like, Yeah, like you can look at it. But I think if I was like asleep and I woke up to him like looking through my phone. What if you just want to make sure? Make sure of what though? There's nothing there. Yeah, but why Maybe he was like looking for like something dangerous. But why couldn't he have the conversation with me beforehand? So if a guy was like if if you were dating a guy and he was like, Let me see your phone, you'd be like, chill with that. Okay, I think it also depends. Like have we is there so, like have <clears throat> I gave him any indication that I've been sus? Let's just say he just he was feeling some type of way and he was just like, yo, I want to look through your phone. I feel kind of weird about something. And then he just went through everything. <laughs> See, it's getting <laughs> funny now. It's getting funny well, now. I'm just he I'm, just looks at your text. Yeah, that's fine. But then also girls know this. I don't know if guys do this, but this is a known girl thing that like in the group chat with the girls, we talk. Oh, no. Like Not what? about the guy, but like there's stuff in there that's like personal too. But like what kind of shit didn't he see? I mean, I guess he could see it. It would just like no, he's it would be fine for him to see, but he'd probably be like, What the f are you being such a bitch? Oh, you like caddy. Like caddy, like gossip, I guess. I don't know. But do you ever talk about the or, I mean, I'm assuming girls are in their tongue about their their guys. Yeah. To mm. some extent, but I always, so that's the real I'm you. always the type of person that, and I think I've grown up a little bit, but I'm the type of person that if there's like a, an issue between me and a person, like whether it's like relationship or like friendship or business or whatever, I try to not talk to my friends because it always gives them a different like perspective on the person. Okay. This is something that's actually, I'm, I'm glad you said that is super important in relationships. I think that people tend to. I mean, we all do this, like, because we we find friends or like whoever to talk to. Normally, friends, obviously, or like family members about like our relationships, and they're always gonna have like a biased, skewed perception of it. Of Cause, course, because you're never gonna say everything. You're not gonna yeah. say everything you did if it was kind of. Some people, I mean, some people do. Some people are really honest and genuine, but I feel like most people people give this story of like. Well, she did this or he did Where this. Where you end up kind of vi being the victim in the situation. Yeah, you tell someone the story and then they're like, F that guy or F that bitch. And then it's like, that's a terrible way to have a relationship. Because yeah. like, then you, you you hear that someone say that and you're like, wait, yeah, F that guy or F that yeah. girl. And then, then you start to act that way, which isn't truly genuine. Yeah, for sure. So I think it's important, like, if you're in a relationship to, like, it is important to get, like, your friends or family's, like, advice on something. Yeah. But you have to try to come at it without, like, being too biased when describing the situation or else it puts like a bad narrative on the other person. Yeah. We should turn this into like a relationship podcast. Yeah. I feel like we both have, okay, this is ironic. We both look at us. You're like 50 and single and I'm like asexual and 23. Like what advice? Like it's 50 not, and single is crazy. It's not, it's not like, it's, yeah, that's hilarious. it's not like we're both like, you know, like, in these like <laughs> super happy long term relationships where we feel like we can just give advice, but it's no, easier but, said than done. Oh, no, but I've been in very long relationships, so yeah. I've learned a lot. So yeah, like obviously all my relationships haven't been, they haven't worked out. But I mean, I've had two very long relationships. I know, yeah. So I've learned a lot. Like, and I think that's what you you have the ability to teach from that. Yeah, you know, from learning from you have nothing to teach. It's like. I don't even know. I, should. I have things to teach. I think hookup culture is absolute. I don't think you should go out. And but have you ever? And I'm not. I'm not at all justifying hookup culture. Have you ever even been in hookup culture? I don't even think you have. No, but I don't think it takes someone to experience hookup culture to realize how bad it is and how bad it is for your brain and everything and how Fair. you view relationships. Fair. I don't think I've had to experience hookup culture to know like how disgusting it fucking is. Do you think there's a there's a I mean, yeah, guy, girl. It's just an inverse is so different for men. Like hook, hookup culture is like. I guess it is. I'm coming at it from like a woman. Yeah. So you're right. I guess like there there is this stigma on like women partaking in hookup culture, and then you're kind of viewed as whatever little yeah. thoughty. But like mm -hmm. when men do it, it's okay. Yeah. I get it. I don't know. There's different standards to men and women. I've accepted that. I didn't at a certain point, but now I see it. You did you used to think that the like, age should just be equal? Um, I still, but I, maybe it's selective, but I still, if a guy has like a high, like BC, not blood alcohol, BC, uh, you yeah, that's a BA, BA, BAC, that's a BAC, BAC. blood alcohol content. Okay. Yeah. A BC body count, body count, high body count. That's a bad thing. I don't like it. Really? 
for me. Why? I don't know. I'm like, why have you experienced this with so many people? <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Why do you think if a guy has a high body count, it's like concerning? I mean, not concerning. It's not, I don't I don't know if I'd write like write someone off because of that. But for me, it's just like maybe it's like my insecurity. I'm like, fuck, like you've done this with this many people. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I mean, maybe they just real like maybe they're just very clear on what they actually want and like then at that point. What do you mean? Well, they're probably if they've experienced more women, they're probably very clear on like what they want sexually or what they like or what they prefer. And then if they like, you know, they're done with all that, then they're like, oh, maybe maybe you're the one then for them, you know? Yeah. So I don't know if you write someone off for that. I think it's so weird because there is that double standard because for is. girls, it's like, damn, what have you been doing? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it like that? I think, personally, I think it's. I don't think it's a good thing either way, but I think it's hard. I don't think it's a good thing either way, but I think it's harder for a guy to accept a girl with a high body count than a girl that it than it is for a girl to accept a guy. Yeah. With a high, so like, I hear what you're saying, like totally valid. I'm just saying, me personally, if a girl tells me her body count's 100, I'm still like, girl, like, what have you been doing? Why or if a guy mean? tells me it's 100, I'm like, bro, what have you been doing? Like, it's, it's the same thing. I get it. Like 100, like it. let's go take you to the clinic. What other things are like really like hard lines like that when it comes to relationships? Because I guess it's not a hard line. That's kind of like a blurry line. Yeah, that's a blurry line. I just I I think for me, uh, communication is just like the biggest thing. Someone that can communicate properly, whether that's communicating like what you know, what you're up to or where you're at mentally or what you need like from me. I yeah. think all of like communication as a whole is important because you have to know what your other what the other person wants and is looking for. You can't read someone's mind. Yeah, I heard a crazy story the other day. I was talking to this girl that I was gonna work with, manage, and uh, she was telling me how she had like a friend who like did crazy like work on OnlyFans, but like the craziest kind, um, the like the craziest degree. And then she was like trying to date this guy who's like rich and like she was telling her friend how like you got to date someone who has like more money and like i understand these concepts because it's like a girl wants someone to take care of them fully understand that but then <clears throat> the girl makes all her money like her value of like money like let's say she makes i don't know 30k whatever she makes a month 20k she's saying like like the way she's making that is like if she wasn't doing that explicit she'd probably be working at like walmart somewhere yeah like so for her to have that standard of what a guy should make in relationship to her is kind of funny. It's hilarious. It's comical because um, I think like, you know, there's the concept of like high value women or whatever. Right. A high value woman isn't dictated by how much money she makes, especially if she makes that money in like not the best way. Yeah. Well, because it's funny because in this conversation, she was saying how this guy who's super wealthy found out that this chick did this like super explicit stuff. And was he still like, no, he was like, oh, with her? no, he was like, we're good. Like, yeah. I'm good. You know, so it's funny because when when people have this expectation about who they want or like how they want it to be, but then when themselves are just kind of like in a place, I don't know how they think it's going to work out or how they can argue that it should be. They should have some sort of, I don't know. I don't think you can argue that as much yeah. as you want to try it, <laughs> because yeah. regardless, at the end of the day, who you pick to be with relationship, friendship, whatever, it's an extension of you. Yeah. So if this super successful guy who like, you know, he checks all the boxes, but then he's dating someone who's doing insane explicit content on OF. Yeah. It's like you picked her. That's an extension of you. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and it's just, I don't know. It's just funny to me because obviously there's some people out there that like will accept it or who are willing to accept it because some people are just into some like whatever weird. Sh but I think it's just funny how I just in general, the concept of Women picking men, obviously, I understand they want the caretaker. They want the people who are going to be able to provide. But when they, they're not necessarily, I don't know. I don't even <clears> want to <throat> say worthy to be provided for. But I understand the taking care, like wanting someone to like take care of you. And that sounds amazing. And maybe it's because I'm not in that position that financially I need someone to take care of me. But I always wonder, yeah, what would you be? I wonder how different you would be if you like didn't, if you just, but none I of this like ever happened. If none of this ever happened... I would still have a degree. I would still I would still be like hustling to make money. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, that's just like I think the most important thing in life for women, especially and men, but men tend to do this already. Women is to be self sufficient. Yeah, relying on someone financially 
is never a good thing. I genuinely don't believe it. I see. It should be it should be some sort of synergy. Yeah, because sure. at the end of the day, if you want to live that lifestyle or whatever it is and you're relying on a man financially, you might not end up even loving the man. You just might love what he has to offer you. And then are you truly ever happy? I mean, you might be have like the short term happiness of like, oh, we go on crazy trips together. He buys me X, Y and Z. He takes me to good dinners. We have fun. But it's like it's all based on what's it's what's all you're based given. on. Yeah. Yeah. I you see. know what I'm saying? Yeah. What you're given, which to a degree, I guess that is normal. And just all relationships are sort of give and take like that. But I agree. It is. Relationships are give and take for sure. But I just think financially it just makes it when finances and money come into play. I think it becomes very tricky. Yeah. I just don't think women, women, there's not many of you watching this, but don't rely on a man for money. Don't rely on anyone for money. It's just, Get it's, it, try, try, try to make money yourself. And then, you know, you might meet this amazing guy and he makes money. Maybe it's not as much as you want, but that's okay because you really love him and you make your own money. Yeah. The world's just weird now because, like, that's the the default. It seems like for a lot of girls, just like to just go into something that's, I don't know, selling their body. Which I guess it's kind of always been that way, right? Because like girls, at some point, like even before the OF stuff, it was like they would, you know, the model would be here, and you know, yeah. And no. obviously, not everyone's in that industry, so it's not no. really. But it's just way more easily accessible now. Like it breaks my heart to see like a girl turn eighteen, and the first thing that goes in her bio is the OnlyFans link. It makes me sad. Yeah. So you got beef with Bad Baby? Because she did that. She made a lot of money. Pretty crazy. I don't have beef with them. No, I, just, I get it. I just think at 18, like, you're not fully, like... Isn't that also a weird thing? The fact that that chick was 17 and then she, as soon as she turned 18, like, she made, like, a million dollars in a day. Yeah, that concept is really weird. It's kind of crazy. I mean, you just had a bunch of dudes who were, like, waiting, which is kind of kind of weird. Kind of weird? No? Weird. Kind of weird. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, I told you a story earlier. Can't repeat it online. Um, dude, we should start doing like. That was a good story. I know. It was a good story. I would love to start doing like. I, I Okay. Genuinely, I think in like less than a year, I think we're going to start getting like really up on this podcast. But I hope so. in a good way. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. But you have to start being. You know, there's a lot of stuff you don't like to what talk about. What do you have about. to say? I don't know, stuff that you're afraid to say that you, you know, behind closed doors, she says, and it's hilarious. I do have dark humor. Dude, you know what's actually amazing right now? And I just had a, a crazy idea. What we should do hmm. is have my mom on right Where now. Where is she? She's here. She just. She, oh, I, yes. Go get her. Bro, that this will go crazy. Holy. Move the salad. Holy. Ooh. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Why? Because <laughs> she knows everything about me. It's my mother. What was that deep? What the <laughs> f was that deep? Like the deep side. <sighs> no, she's proud of you. I'm sure you're proud of her. Oh yes, yes. Wow, this is yeah. crazy. Okay, I want to ask something. Wow. Um, did you see that he did a podcast with wait Andrew, right? Mm -hmm. With Andrew, yes. And the comments were like, "Why does Bradley like let him live in a van, etc.?" What are your thoughts on that? Um, Andrew enjoys it, from what I saw. He does. He does. Um. Yeah, I think he does enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, sure, he'd love to have a little property and then build a house on it. Yeah. But he's really likes being mobile, I think. Yeah. But to what she was saying, people have, apparently it's like, apparently I like let my brother live in his van. As no, if, like, that's like he had choice. no other choice. No, yeah. because it's, um, you know, he didn't want to rent like a little box of yeah. a room in somebody's house for $1,000 a month. Yeah. Like it's, he chose that. It's more way. practical. Yeah, he chose yeah. it. Yeah. And, you know, he's trying to beat the system. Like yeah. his payments for that van might be, and he, I don't know, five fifty a month. That's yeah. not even $1,000. And right. he lives in it. And he built the whole thing. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. It's really nice. And I think he's happy as f Like, to be honest, like he's doing what he wants to be doing. When he he is. But again, I think he'd love just like a little half an acre and yeah where he would like i don't know anywhere and he would like to build his own house remember when you guys were like kids? He, he himself built his own house yeah because yeah. remember when you were you guys were kids chuck gust yeah uh built the log cabin in pescadero yeah 
And just that he didn't build it, but he had somebody. It was a kit. And, but, but I feel like Andrew of, would build his own house. Yeah, actually. he he, re- he like really like he would build it. his yeah. own he house. He seems super like manly. Yeah, he knows how to do. He all can that do shit. everything. Yeah, cook, he can do everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he can cook too. Oh he does god, everything. yeah. He's a great cook. Yeah, yeah. He does everything. Yeah. Wow. But it would be nice, like if you paid the van off, that'd be cool. Mm, should we pay his van off? <laughs> I think that's how much is left to. there. How much is left? I think it's only I don't know. Twelve thousand. All right, we're paying the van off. Okay, now we have to. Are you serious? Yeah, we'll pay the van off. Yeah, I said it online. Okay. Now not to be like, hey, such a bad brother. He does nothing. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, that would be amazing. He would love that. But I mean, you don't have to. Yeah. He doesn't ever expect anything from. We'll do it. We'll do it. Really? Yeah. Because. Because no, it was it it, it annoys me. Birthday is December. No, he's right before Christmas. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. December twenty third. Yeah. I always uh I just I saw that and I was like, what the. Like, because I did the pod with him, it was just to have conversation about. Well, his it's because the contrast. It's like it's very different lives, very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but he yeah. he's the, the thing is he chose to live his life that way, and I think in in a lot of ways it was it's smart. Like, and it's fun when I talk to him and I have conversations with him or I go do things with him. It's actually really refreshing for me because my life is so different the other way that i'm like yeah. yeah the other way that i'm like damn i wish i had more of this in my life yeah he just chose he's that very 100%. basic very basic in the what do you really need to live every day and what i love so much is that he's so into the outdoors and nature and you know we did a lot of skiing and all that when you were kids but he really like has to see a sunset every day oh wow and a like the things that and matter. a sunrise yeah. every day yeah and who does that i mean he lives outside he loves it he yeah. absolutely loves it so yeah. it's like a stepped up kind of camping, a glamping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's dope. We'll pay the van off. Serious? Yeah, f- it. Oh my god! Wow. Yeah, she's like serious. He is gonna just be flipping out. Tell him. Let's call him right now. Tell him. Oh my god! Are you serious? Yeah. What? This is That's crazy. So nice. This is crazy. Is it really twelve left on that? I don't know. It could be thirteen. I don't Whatever. know. Thousand, I don't know. Imagine he's like, nope, can't do that. <laughs> Thirteen, nah, never mind. <laughs> Fourteen, no. no. He deserves it. He deserves it. He works hard. Oh my gosh, he sure does. Let's see if he answers. I wonder if he's off today. He might be off, and he might be skiing because he loves to we'll do see. that with all. He's got so many friends with all the all the friends. Yo, he's skiing. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're gonna yeah. give him the best gift. Hi, ever. Andrew. Yo, what up? Are you skiing right now? I was about to sit in the top shack. Like, look, his life is funny. He's like, dude. Um, so we got we got mom on the podcast on uh, the pod with with Hi, uh, me and Sarah. Hi, Andrew. And uh, you know, you know how we did the pod, and then everyone like I don't know if you read the comments, but people were like Brad lets his brother live and be homeless and all this. And um, I decided that uh, we're gonna pay your van off. No way. Yeah, Wait, ask him how much off. is left. how much is left on it? How much is left on it? Oh, nothing. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, you said 12. I she said 12. Was, I, I was, was like, like 12,000, Andrew. Said, 12, 12, 12 is on the, or a, a, 10 is on the conversion loan, but five and then the van's paid off. Oh, just do them both. Yeah, yeah, we'll just, yeah. <laughs> do them both. Yeah, we'll just, we're going to pay it all off. Bro, are you fucking serious? Yeah, we're going to pay it off. Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, easy, easy. But yeah, I just this wanted, was one expensive yeah. podcast. This was one expensive podcast. I don't care. Oh my God. I just want to call and tell you because we're, we're live. We'll but get yeah. some more ad reads. <laughs> yeah, who cares? You're live right now? Well, we're not. It's not a live pod, but we're filming the pod right now. Yeah. Ask him if this is the best day ever. Was he expecting that when he woke up? <laughs> Probably wasn't expecting it. You're good. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I really wanted to. Do that. I was talking about getting a different camper. Oh um, but yeah, yeah, I got you. We'll we'll sort your shit out. <laughs> All, right, bro, I'll talk to you later. All right, man. I love you. All right, bye. Yeah. Aww, oh my that god, that was, was awesome. amazing. That was yeah. so cute. That good. was amazing. I'm totally blown away. Yeah, yeah that's, that's so amazing. generous. It is what it is. Oh my god. I I just genuinely like he because he here's the deal right. He was the one who got me to even buy the van, to even think about buying the van, yeah. to even like, because yeah. for me, my life is so like work, 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 literally nonstop. Yeah. And when I, you know, whenever I talk to him and I see what he's doing, it just makes me be like, what the, like, not what the f- am I doing as if I don't enjoy it or I don't like it? Because I do genuinely love working. But 
when I went and I did the first trip in the van, I was like, damn, this is something I've really been missing in my life. Like just basic shit. Yeah, I remember how stars. happy you were when you yeah. came back. The stars. Remember the stars at night? Just shit. It's, and it's just so, it's like, I, I, what I make all this money to do what? You know, to like not really to live those important moments in my life is just like basic things that are just like, like you talked about the sun setting, the sun rising. Like at some point, right, we don't get to experience that. And we take it for, for granted. Like most of us take it for granted. And he really lives that like, like we literally call him randomly and he's skiing because like his job, he works and he lives yeah. right near the ski resort because that's what he loves to do is skiing. Yeah. And he's able to live in his car, his van rather, and like do that. And then in summer, he goes to Tahoe, yeah. which he loves, and he, and he does, does contracting work. Landscaping and contracting right. stuff. Oh, that's so. great. Yeah. But yeah, he just, he, he's and probably And he's bilingual. The, he speaks Spanish now. Yeah. Really? He's, one, he's yeah. one of the people in my life that, like, just showed me about, like, I've always known, but he's kind of was one of the people who's, like, forced me to, like, yo, you should come do this ex in, instead of just, like, talk about wanting to do it, you know? Yeah. So. So sorry I was wrong on the amount. So the total was, like, 15. I thought it Something was. Something like that. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Fine. Oh my God, that's incredible! But yeah, I just that was it was just annoyed me because I did the pot with him and it was like as if people were like thinking you're letting him be like a, I let him like be homeless. homeless or something. He chose and to he's do. he's not he's houseless. He thinks of it as I don't have a house, and someday maybe I'll have a house. But yeah, well, he also chose it. He yeah. wants that. It's yeah, it's not on you. Yeah. Um. But yeah, yeah we'll, we'll we'll sort do him you out. work 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 yeah. all the time, Sarah? Are you like she's Brad? like me? You, yeah. 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 You're a grinder. I'm like yeah. the girl version of Brad. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, basically. But so, but how long have you been doing that for? Since I, oh, like social media? Since you met him. Since uh -oh. I met him. Yes. No, before that. So even, how many years is that? I met Bradley two years ago, exactly. Okay. Actually. Yeah. Um, You've been grinding for what, 15 years? Long time. Long time. <laughs> long time. Well, because you're, you're a youngin', aren't you? Yeah, you're yeah. 23. Oh, my goodness. So he has a sister, 24. Well, she will be 24. Yeah, he was just, she Holy just God. Faith uh, is 24 in July, and she just graduated UCLA. That's amazing. I didn't amazing. think she, so. Is she older than you? Yeah. Yeah. Cognitive cogn science degree. Yeah. No, she's a genius. She's the smartest. But chick she, ever. Um, yeah. She's so insane. you guys, so you were born in 2001. Wow. She was 2000. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> But you, are clean very, your diapers. you seem very mature and very classy and very sophisticated for your age. Thank so. you. I and my daughter's, it. my daughter's like a lot like that, too. Yeah, Thank she's you. a damn genius. That's probably why you're drawn. Like, her energy is so good and, you know, yeah. face well, she, is, too. Yeah. Personality. She's smart. She's smart as well. Yeah. Thank you. I, I Honestly, I wonder what face IQ is. It's probably super high. I don't know, but she's just, uh, she's a good listener. She's, like, weirdly smart. She's That's just good. a really good listener, and she's very, uh, she will not take... Sides on things. She sees both sides of everything. It's, That's it's, the best. It's rare I have conversations with people when I'm like, they say something, I'm like, hmm. She does that every time yeah. I talk to her. Yeah. She's great. so smart. It's insane. Anyways. That's a good quality She's just very have. gentle, you know? She's just not, um, it's just like a very gentle, like she's not going to call anybody out on anything. And she sees, I just love how she sees all sides of things, you know? That's a great, yeah. 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 But also... Maybe Bradley's more loud about it, but I feel like he has a similar quality where he does see like both sides to things usually. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think it's a sign of high intelligence. Yeah. I mean, all this division of taking one side or the other, it's like kind of, you know. It's all bullshit. It's not, it's yeah. not a good thing. No, it's not. Or, you know, oh, you like this one, so I can't like you. Well, that's right, yeah. tell, silly. Tell, everyone's going to want to know stuff like this because you're here and you're my mom. Tell good stories about me and tell bad stories about me. Start I don't really have any bad stories. Uh, good stories, I would talk about, um, you know, we lost his dad, and then a few years later I met somebody, and we remar I remarried, and he had some kids that were exactly the same age as my kids. Their birthdays are the same year, like a day apart, a boy and a girl. And Step family. Yeah, so... How do I describe it? It was just tough going because their mother had a lot of issues and she didn't really want me to bond or like her kids or she didn't want her kids to like me. So a lot of, you know, really awful things went down, which caused me to kind of not trust the kids. But um, we did end up getting married and the kids were with us for quite a while. And I just remember, how old do you think you were? I want to say like 10 or 11. Yeah, yeah nice. This is really a young kid. And... When kids are young, they're usually 
uh, always kind of see it the way the parents see it. Right. Not this one. <laughs> I'm cooking. I'm cooking one day, and he just kind of saunters up to me, and I'm doing some stir fry or something for dinner, and uh, he's like, "Mom, just gonna tell you, you're really mean to those kids, and when they grow up, they're gonna hate you." And it, I was just like. When he says mean, I think what he means is when it came to all the chores in the house, I would have them start. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I picked them first. You know, it, your own kids and stepkids is different. You know, yeah. it just is. And then we had this lack of trust because of things that had happened. I don't even want to go into it. It's not important yeah. now. But what was so fascinating to me and also caught me really off guard was the fact that Brad, at 10, could see me, you know, from the outside and he didn't think it was good. And he called me out on it. Yeah. As a little kid. Just that hearing him go, Mom, you're so mean. Yeah. Those kids are going to hate you when they grow up. Really, they probably hated me then. <laughs> I bet they, I'm sure they did. But there was a reason for that. And then later, I mean, that just caught me. And it really made me think. And it did kind of change my behavior. And then later on, when the kids were older, I did try to write letters to them and apologize to say, you know, I was the adult, I was wrong, you know, I'm sorry. And, you know, I think that's really all I could do. Um, they both have really good lives today. It's good. Everything's good. But that was just a tough time. And just that he went against me, like he wasn't like, you know, supporting that, what he yeah. was seeing, because he was very close to the boy and what well, was right and wrong yeah it was like and it was hard for your brother because your brother had lost his dad and he didn't want you to be close to that kid so yeah. that it was created also like problems, I, I i could have just easily sided with like my mom and been like well she's treating me good so yeah yeah that's what no he's always stood up i guess for what voice because those kids wouldn't complain just right and wrong but yeah. he would just in the interactions in the room and, and i just like wow that's really incredible for that someone incredible. so young yeah yeah and it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to backhand him for saying that. Or I was just like, wow, I don't want my son to see me be like that. That's a terrible yeah. example I need to change. And sometimes kids really change you. And yeah. you and your brother really have changed me in my life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for the better. Yeah. Like Andrew's taught me so much, too, in other ways. But you guys, it's been incredible. That's why... I think it's a wonderful journey to have a family and have children. You don't have to have 29 kids, but, yeah. you know, one or two. It's like there's a part of you that grows in a different way when you have children than when you don't. Of course, yeah. And it's um, it's just amazing. And I guess I could receive it because I love him so much and because it was so honest and I probably felt that anyway. And it was just somebody checking me. Do you know what I mean? Like bringing it to your attention. Yeah, and it's embar I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed that you at 10 or whatever, 11, I don't know exactly what it was. It could have been nine. That you noticed my bad parental behavior, my bad step parenting, you know? And it, it was terrible. So to know that, God, my whole kid is just, oh, I got to do something, you know? Mm. That was a that was a big moment in my in in growing up with yeah. Brad that I always remember. Yeah, and other things he's done are just silly and funny and just <laughs> you know. When do you do you in the near future do you see Brad like getting married, having kids? I hope so. Yeah, I don't know about the getting married part, but having kids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you know, and Lauren Rimalaki just got married. I think this last weekend. Yeah. Yeah, it was beautiful. Anyway. Shout out to Lauren. <laughs> She's a fan. She always texts you about a, an older YouTuber. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Lauren DIY. So would, yeah. would would Brad then have to adopt if he's not going to get married? Well, if if you want to. Gosh, there's so many kids. He'd, yeah. And an older be, kid I even. I think he'd be a really good parent. Yeah, I do too. Hmm. He'd, be, he'd be strict. He'd be tough. But you don't yeah. have to be that strict or tough. You don't have to hit your kids to teach them anything. Or smack them. You know, like, That's you know, not a good idea. You know, like... You're not. I don't think you'd come to not hitting your hit, kid. like you know, like a little like check yourself. You well, know? I wouldn't smack my anyway. Kid. Um, yeah, oh, and power. then there was that other one when you were just you were just a teeny little guy where you got you pushed up a chair to the counter. It was like summer, and we always had slip and slides and swimming pools and 
What are those little things? <laughs> Not swimming pools, but little kitty pools. And yeah, what are those little things kids love? Those little slip and slide, push up pops. You know, oh, all yeah. of those kind of things. And so it was a summer day, and everybody's outside. The whole the neighborhood kids, you know, all the kids. We had so many kids on our court. And they just had a blast, you know. They'd yeah. play down in the creek. They'd play in our time. yard, the other yards. Before it was phones. Yeah. It was yeah. just iPad amazing. They were outside and... all the time. Yeah, and right, uh, right. I guess I took too many pictures, and he didn't like it. <laughs> Faith used to just cover her face like this yeah. when she didn't want me to take a picture. But he was little. I think he was about four, maybe five. And he pushes up a stool to the counter, gets my camera that I had pushed way back, gets it. I'm watching him do this whole thing. I'm like, what's he going to do with my camera? Take a picture. He goes, he throws it in the little pool. No, he didn't. Yes. <laughs> he had roid rage. Even I think he was trying old. to say no more pictures. <laughs> no more pictures, mom. No, you can't. Now you can't take any more Bro. pictures. I've ruined your camera. That was back in the, you know, with yeah. the little cards you stick in them and all that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. You've been a menace. And I'm like, yeah. what? Oh my That's God. insane. Yeah. Damn. Oh, but all you guys with your little bike ramps on the street remember and andrew did a big chin yeah, split. His face up. you guys were just riding bikes at like two you were yeah. riding two wheelers at two and doing real kids you're just playing outside yeah. doing plays and running all over it was so playing cute doctor yeah and then the creek was a huge thing <laughs> went up and down the creek every kid does that that's normal all the kids all kids do that um but yeah remember when I <laughs> my pants what What'd you say? Do you remember that? No. Well, my pants. Brad, that was last week. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Not recently. When I was a kid. Um, no, oh, maybe, seriously. maybe, maybe. Oh, I remember. Maybe. I, I, I don't know what it was. Are I, you sure you want to tell this story? Yeah, I don't care. It's a hilarious story. I hope story. no one's eating. Who cares? <laughs> um, so I remember sitting, on, like this was at the court, and I remember sitting with my friends, and we were trying to make ourselves fart. That's what we were. I don't know why we thought that was a good idea. What were you like? Four, five, five? Yeah, maybe? this was when I was like five. Maybe this is back at the the, the old yeah. house. Yeah, uh -huh. really, really little with like Keith and yeah, yeah. Um, and I remember we're all like trying to like make ourselves fart, and so we're like, we're like farting. Don't you might do and it right I, now? Yeah, and I <laughs> in my pants, and I remember walking home holding my pants, <laughs> like holding the. <laughs> so would I it go down I my leg? I kind of remember you coming in and going, "I got, I got to change." Oh no! I literally remember this. I think I got visually. a change because it was probably traumatic for you. Probably, and no, no, but it was kind of funny. I didn't make a big deal about it. I think well, you just we, I did it on purpose. I'm not purpose, but like, <laughs> did we you tried put it in fart. the? Ew! <laughs> did you put it in the? I don't know. I think I must have like pulled the pants down, like pick. Okay, like, can in. you? Anyway, sorry. I also remember um, there was always <laughs> raccoons everywhere. <sighs> yeah, and you and your friends all thought you could chase, run up, and scare the raccoons. <laughs> And once we were in a car and you go, stop, we were picking up kids and going somewhere and everybody piles out. There's like, I don't know, five or six kids. And you guys all run to where you saw the raccoons that were in the sewer. And yeah. within like a minute, they're all running back there. You were like scared. You're like, drive, drive, just they drive. Were chasing they were chasing us. They were chasing. There was like about five or six of them and they, they were chasing you guys. Yeah. They <laughs> and you guys were so scared of them. You're like. I'm like, oh, yeah, they're going to. It's because I wasn't too 60. Otherwise, I would have. Uh, but the bear. <laughs> wasn't there a bear in Tahoe one time? Oh, yeah. In a, around the van or yeah. something. Dude, you we got... have a weird life. Yeah. No, just all all kids do fun, kooky things. And... Yeah. Especially I'm boys. sure Sarah has Especially stories. Especially boys, I feel like. Sarah, you got to have stories from when you're little. Her mom. We're going to get her have her mom come on. And we'll oh, have great. Yeah. We'll talk to her mom about it. Okay. Do I have any stories? I don't yeah, know. but you must have stories about outdoor adventures or suppressed getting childhood. lost. One time you guys were at the county park across the street and you all decided you were going to take your bikes. Jessica got you all to take your bikes and go up the trail. So they all start going up the trail with their bikes and they got stuck. <gasps> and we could just hear them because we were across the street from yeah. this church and a park. Help. We need help. <laughs> And, and then we went over there. We're like, what's going on? Why do you have your bikes on the trail? This is a walking trail or a trail for horses or something. Oh, I remember that, yeah. You guys got stuck because you were you all following on? Jessica. Well, she was the older She was one. older. Yeah. She convinced us to do it. God bless her. She was a demon. No, she was a good kid. I don't know. She was a girl. You know, girls are just... No, but you the guys... girls are not demons. No, they're not. You guys got into great. some scrapes. You did. I had a good, good childhood. 
Yeah. What age did you move but out? But you at? were easy, I have to say. The boys were easy maybe because their dad wasn't here. They were not super hard on me. And they were very respectful and very, I just want to say, like, so good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's No amazing. major or anything. That's good. Really compliant, did what, I, okay, well, <laughs> video <laughs> games. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Did oh, you do yeah. your homework? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Never did it. And then they're up all night. Playing oh, video yeah. games? Yeah. And I didn't games? hear this. I didn't even learn about this until like 20 years later. Do you know what games we were playing? Just all those games. Uh, World of Witchcraft. World of Warcraft. Warcraft. Witchcraft, yeah. I used yeah. to call it. Because yeah. you were all like under this spell. And it was like you guys could never disengage. And mm -hmm. it was like, dinner's Dude, ready. Okay, was, okay, okay. I was such a nerd. Still a nerd. You still are. I love video. It started with the Oregon Trail, though. Remember that yeah. was a really cool. Back on dial up. We're really, really dating ourselves here. Yeah, but. super. Yeah, dial up. I, I, I lost track. I don't know what these things. You are. know what dial up is? No. That's before modem with the modem or something. That was like if you were on your phone line, you couldn't be on the internet. Uh, it was one or the other. Yeah. Uh oh. That remember, remember that? Yeah. That was so. They did crazy. tell white lies. I don't know if they're white lies, but yeah, they straight up. Lied about. Yeah, the homework's done. This. Well, and I just got it done. I got it done however I had to get it done the <laughs> yeah, next day, right before class. Really? Yeah. Just copied someone else's. Oh, my God. It was such a waste don't, of time. Okay, don't even no, go No, it is, the, though. Don't admit that. No, that's not it right. It was such a waste no, of time. No, because it taught, maybe it didn't teach you, like, materialistic things about, like, it taught me when, about networking. But it, no, but also besides that, it taught you, like, discipline, time It taught management. you how to read and how to write well. Yeah. I and mean, I don't know if you write well today, but it, it taught you how to, you know, it socializes yeah, you. Like, There's not a, yeah, like it's not a waste. Basic school, basic school stuff. High school was like, what are we doing here? No, but I'm saying that's where you learn time management, discipline, this, that, uh, uh. No, I'm saying I learned networking in high school because I learned about certain people who were really good. Who had good. the french fries in the lunchroom? Yes. Yeah. Certain people who were really good at their work that I was like, oh, I'm terrible at this. Can you help me? And then he was like, and I built a relationship and he would help me. Yeah. So I learned about networking. And you learn the trick of, can I just have one fry? And he'd go ask 20 people for one fry. <laughs> you learned to leverage. He didn't bother anybody. It was just like, can I just have one? And then what'd you do? Would they just watch you walk around and ask? Yeah. Oh, God, there's, oh here comes that annoying. Why can't he just buy his own damn fries? <laughs> can you imagine? What, didn't I give you any money for lunch? Or Rarely. I think but I made your lunch every day, didn't mm. I? What, you throw them away? Give them to the homeless uh, people? Not every day. It was a, you know, oh. it's okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God, this is funny. Well, it's not as interesting, I guess, as what? some of your pods are. But no, Sarah, this is, no, so no, great. is amazing. Chime in, chime in. No, this no, is great. No, I love this. This is, I like give, hearing you guys give talk. Give her more questions. More questions? Yeah, about me. Give her more questions about me. Okay, let me think. She didn't Because it's better anything. if someone else asks the questions instead of me asking them. Okay. So, <laughs> who was Brad's first love? <laughs> okay, maybe don't give us a name. Don't give us a name, but. Um, how did he experience that? Go through it. That's funny. Oh, you mean just proms and all that? And yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. oh, she was a great gal. Uh, just a, a, a beautiful family, a beautiful gal. Um, what do you remember about that though? I'm wondering like, was, what was your perspective? I it? remember a lot. I remember. So this when, when I was 50, <laughs> it was a long time ago, we went to Tahoe and you guys came. You and came. Okay. You're saying <laughs> that's, okay. that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Megan's fine. Anyway, and I just remember you guys were really just so, you know, joined at the hip and it was yeah. just really lovely. And um, she had really, a fat, she had a fat, was, she had a fat, I, by the way. No, she didn't. No, You're, fat in a good way. That's what I'm saying. What oh, you okay. Mean? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the Oh, that's, I thought it was a bad thing. I, it sounds like a bad thing. It's a great thing. I remember just advising you guys, like, it's, it was a couple of years, right? Wasn't it, like, all through oh. high school? Or? Yeah, yeah. I, and I, I was saying that, you know, you probably should break up, and if you're meant to be together, you will be. Was that bad advice? <laughs> no, that's great advice in high school. Because, <laughs> yeah, anyway. <clears throat> um, I haven't seen Brad like that with anyone. I mean, join no. at the hip, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, but I've maybe gone it's through it. I've now. gone through some stuff. Well, there's there's been other long term relationships, you know. Yeah. Which ones stand out? Which one uh earlier on, which ones stand out? You mean after Yeah, when I was down here. Oh. Chatsworth lady. <laughs> Remember her? Which one was that? Barbie who never did her laundry. 
Oh. That's all I'm going to say about that. Are you thinking about? I think so. I don't even remember her oh, name. Oh, that was the one that broke your heart? Yeah. Yeah. Her parents loved you, and she was jealous of that, I think, but she was just a spoiled, you yeah. know. She, she, she didn't yeah. even do her own laundry. Come on. Yeah, what? What's she had maids. Deal? She was, she, really? her parents paid. She was, she, her family was super rich. Anyway, but she was lovely. I shouldn't say anything. No, who cares? Tell the truth. Well. Remember I called you and I was crying? Oh. You were upset. She called too. She was. Oh, she called and snitched on me. Well, I didn't care. But tell her, tell her what she. T- this she is was, crazy. Your she ex was, called your mom and snitched yeah. on me about tell her. And I was at walking the beach at, in her. our town. This is this is the. Wait, this what is did crazy. the ex say? She called. She was just sex. really concerned about. Tell her. I don't give a. F- about about. Um, she thought Brad was using steroids. Which I was. <laughs> and but she, she, imagine she snitched yeah. on me. Yeah. I'm like, he's a grown ass man. He can do what he wants. <laughs> like, like what? He can do what he wants. Yeah. I, I felt like saying, why don't you go do your laundry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's hilarious. I don't know. I guess when you have people have money, but you don't even do your own laundry anymore. That's just nutty. Yeah. 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 You know what's up? I don't do my own laundry right now. Okay, but it's different. I mean, then you did and you've done laundry. Oh, yeah. You've cleaned yeah. toilets what? and you you've cooked and you've cleaned kitchens and bathrooms. Yeah. You know how to yeah, yeah. Function. You could do it yeah, if you yeah. had to, but I don't think she ever did. That's probably. Yeah, that's yeah. the root of the. Yeah. And she was just very jealous because her family really liked you and that pissed her off. I don't know if that's the whole I reason. I think why. she didn't like them. No, I'm telling you, you, mother's intuition is usually always. Sometimes, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. That is what it is. That was funny, though. That was an interesting time. Because remember, yeah. I remember calling you crying, being like, Whoa. yeah. Do you ever get scared? She that- was a Barbie perfect kind of person. Like, wasn't she? But it was like plasticky and I don't know. Uh, I mean, it was I like, don't know what was real on her and what yeah. wasn't. But but she was a nice girl. I mean, they've all been really nice. Yeah. Nice gals. Do you ever get worried that someone's going to use Bradley for like money? Like a girl's going to come in and like leverage her. <laughs> that is never going to happen with Brad. That is true. That won't happen. But <laughs> no, no. Hmm. OK, good answer. Good, yes. good, good. Solid. I mean, it would. <sighs> I don't know who that person could be who could be that clever to do that to him. He's he's more savvy than that. He is. Only because yeah. I've been over by you've a You've been million screwed people. too many times. Well, you've you've lived. You've had experience. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And that's good. It's a good thing. Nothing's wasted. Remember, nothing's yeah. wasted. Absolutely. Nothing's yeah. My mom's so wholesome. Yeah. Nothing's wasted. Wholesome. Only. No, I mean no experience. I mean good or bad. It's all just learned. Yeah. It's just a journey, and it's just you know. Learn from it. Don't learn from it. When you don't learn from it, you notice those lessons come back again oh, and again yeah. and harder yeah. and harder. That is so fast. Oh. Yeah. So in your 50 years. 50? It's okay. We'll just pretend you're like 50. 64, okay. try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look amazing. I was joking. I was trying to give you some years. <laughs> um, what would you say is the most important thing you've learned about life? Oh, my God. Now, see, this is you could have warned me about this an hour uh, ago. Well, you just, you know, you, it doesn't need to be a perfect answer. Okay, I'm just going to say. Um, what comes to your heart? That's it. What comes to my heart? Just, I think that people, to really understand that at any point, wherever you are in life, whatever you're doing, whether you're happy with it, not happy with it, that you can always change what you're doing or where you are and you can make everything better. You know, like you talk a lot about the best version of yourself. So you're not stuck, you know, in a bad job, a bad relationship or anything that you can always, you can always change at any point. You can change it up, do something different. Just that, you know, you steer your ship. You're in charge of your life. You make the decisions. Yeah. Nobody else. Just you. See where I get it from? That's good advice. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, each person, good. each person. Yeah, that's good. You guys are Because you really person. can't live for, you know, your grandparents, your parents, your great grand. I mean, you can certainly have learned about your family history and who did what and, you know. Where you want to go, yeah. Yeah, but um, even if I, you know, wouldn't want him doing a certain thing, I mean, you're just, they're grown, you know. Yeah. And. Yeah, you have no control, and you just got to be supportive, I think, of your kids in whatever endeavors, you know, they want to pursue. 
I never saw him doing anything like this. But then again, this is a whole new thing. This whole, I mean, you kind of came up with it. You yeah. and yeah. Yusuf and all the people that's, you know, way back. Yeah. Um, you guys were the forerunner. I mean, you guys were the beginning. Yeah. Well, I always like to say, I think Oprah was the original influencer. I mean, yeah. yeah. But it was in the format of television. Television, you know? right. Yeah. I remember I used to watch her all the time. Oh, she was the best. What did yeah. you think yeah. I was going to do? I don't know. I guess like when dad, I got out of high school, dad what? thought you were going to be a basketball player. Hmm. Like when you were little and an infant, he was like picking up your arms. He's like, my God, he has long monkey arms. Look at that. He's probably <laughs> going to play basketball. Yeah. Look at this wingspan. Yeah. I think he thought you were going to do a sport thing. It's like, okay. I don't Kinda know. Did. I don't know. Kind of did a sport thing. Yeah. I did a little bit yeah. of a sport thing. I mean, yeah. A health fitness thing. I'm yeah. just curious when I was getting out of high school, what did you think I was going to do besides going to college? I didn't really think that far. Yeah. Because usually people go to college to kind of figure it out. Mm. Or, yeah. You know, you meet other people and if these things happen and yeah. Do you remember when I told you <clears throat> that I was going to do this fitness stuff and take it serious? <laughs> yes. What was your response? I said, oh, your dad and I were really into going to the gym and working out when we were young too. And we had 19% body fat and we were really healthy and fit. You know, everyone goes through that phase. Oh, you thought it was a phase. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, no, no, I'm going to make this my life. I'm going to. How somehow... old was I? I don't know. But you were saying like, I'm going to somehow figure out how I can make this a business, still play a little bit of games and just. And that's literally what you do now. Work out. Yeah. You've made working out a business and you just play a little bit of video games. But in your that's what time. every, I mean, that's what Oprah that's used exactly. to always say. Everybody doing your best life is. If that is what your goal was, then, you know, work to get there. You have to maybe do other jobs before you get there. but yeah. And then you can transition into something. It's what I've I don't know why said. I'm quoting so Oprah, but she was amazing. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I love Oprah. We're talking hey, 80s, you know. So when he dropped out of college, were you scared? He did sad? do three years. Yeah. Let's, three years. Can we yeah, go on the record? That's amazing, yeah. Three yeah. full years. Oh, he said, oh, I'll go back eventually. I'll finish and... <laughs> You never but go three back. years, I feel like as a mom, three years is almost harder than only doing a semester because you're like, just finish it. Like I you're know. There. So I'm like, okay, go for it. And he said, oh, if I go back, I think um, business marketing is what I prefer instead of just straight. What was it? Business finance or something? Business management was what and I was going And then you thought uh, kinesiology or something would have been. Yeah. What is that? That's kind of like still fitness. Movement. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, whatever. And I. I just had no sense of worry. This It's weird, but that's kind of how it was raising them. It was just God's grace, I guess, you know, yeah. that it, they were easy. They worked out, you know, of course they had little fights or, you know, but just overall, they weren't super hard on me. Like, yeah. um, they had a stepdad and he was good. He wasn't a dad, but you know, he's a role model and he's there and he, he's a really good person. Yeah. And, uh, but I felt really grateful to God that my boys were not, um, you know, really hard on me. Like they yeah. could be really hard on the mothers, you know, yeah. the mother. Because uh, the dad, there's no dad there. Because dad wouldn't have allowed it. He always used to say, listen to your mother. I think that was one of the last things he said to you and Andrew. Make sure you listen to your mother. When we were leaving, I think we were leaving the beach in mm. Lindemar. But anyway... Um, yeah, and I just like I guess I just maybe prayed and you know, cross the fingers and talk to you. What are you getting emotional? What are you thinking? No, you thinking yeah. of that Lindemar Beach thing? Yeah, that's good. You're good. No, but I mean I remember at that, mm. sorry, honey. I remember at that, I think that was the last place that we may have seen dad. And it was really interesting because we were at that far end, that south end that was on the other side of the creek. Yeah. And we were sitting and we were just playing on the beach. And I i don't know, he was visiting or something, but there was a homeless guy that was a little further down. And I was concerned. I was very concerned, like, can we move? I don't want to sit by this guy. You know, you just worry safety for your kids. And dad was like, he said to me, and, and this is just how he was about everybody. He goes, you don't know his story. You don't know anything about him. You know, don't be hard on him. You know, and he had a lot of compassion for people, always, always. And I love that about yeah, him. Yeah, that's a really good quality. Very kind, very kind. 
And I'm like, okay, but, uh, you know, I'm just mostly I'm worried, you know, I don't want something to happen with the boys, you know, with the kids. I don't want anything, you know, so. But, um, and so when we left that day, I just remember he was kissed you guys and hugged you and he just said, listen to your mom. Listen, make sure you listen to your mom. And then they did. It was like magic, you know. When I think about this, I I think uh, not this Do you exact remember moment. that at all? <clears throat> I remember the day at the beach. I don't remember all the details. A little, yeah. But I think six. Um, you were six. Yeah. Or f- maybe five. I I think uh, I remember as I got older feeling. I I don't know. I guess the I knew that you also had dealt with that you also like felt the repercussions like not repercussions like it was, but the hardships yes of it. but then i was also very uh yeah the loss the loss so i think in my mind it was like i have i remember thinking like i need to make sure that like i don't make her life more difficult oh god thank you, you know wow or like try to make it oh, better also remember you told me a couple years ago that after dad passed and you were six that's when you started thinking, you know, life can end. It's short. Oh, I lost yeah. my dad. And that's when you started thinking of like careers and jobs and what am I going to do? And yeah, what it's, what's going to happen? Most kids are life. still playing, you know, they're playing until they're out of high school, basically, and they go to college, you know? But yeah. I think when you experience something like that traumatic, you grow up faster. Yeah, yeah. You, have to. you have to. You're forced. I, I remember being like, death, like, what the f- well, you mean it's, forever. It's a hard concept. Like for a gone. Kid. And then yeah. that that's that that's when I was thinking, well, what it's how number one thought was how am I gonna die? And then I remember being afraid of dying. And then I remember thinking, like, well, what am I gonna do with my life? Yeah. And then from I don't know, I'm being very young thinking about this like every day. And most kids aren't even yeah. approaching that kind of thinking. Which made me sad when you told me it's like, wow, you really messed over that and you spent a lot of time. Thinking about it, you shouldn't have had to. Yeah, but I think and I felt sad about that. But I think because of that, it should have just been playing. Yeah, but I think because of that started me sooner on like a direction that you know is my life now. What you didn't or didn't want. Yeah, yeah. Because then, if you you know, I I do I do truly believe that traumatic things for people like you can really take those and transmute them into something amazing in your life. Yeah, transform it's, it. It's just like where's your where are you putting your energy? Where are you allowing it to go? And I just remember constantly thinking about what's the purpose of this what's the point of my life what's going to be the point of my life and i think that's like that's the beginning stages of figuring out what you do with your life and i just started doing that extremely young because i i felt like i had to you know yeah so, yeah because you do yeah okay heavy. what's next sarah what's next? <laughs> sorry that's heavy no that was... what's next um next question yeah. <laughs> what should i ask all right good one uh, aren't you guys tired mm did you eat? No, this is great. We ate. This is gonna, this is gonna do good. Um, <laughs> this is gonna do good. No, it is. Isn't that sad? That's what we have to do. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's our first thought. Like, will this clip go well? Yeah, Started. it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's cool though. This is this is really cool. This is dope. Thank you for coming. Who on. wants to hear from an old mom though? No. I think anyone who's ever watched me make content, okay, probably want to hear from you. Yeah. Just to know like where I've come from, you know. So you, it's cool yeah. to hear from you instead of just hearing. For me, yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of times yeah. I'd share stuff, and it's like in relationship to my life or my childhood or my family. I can't believe you're. Pa- I mean, I'm flipping out. You're gonna pay off Andrews <laughs> fifteenth. I mean, I'm blown. Yeah, yeah. I'm just blown away. Yeah, I'm not. Is I'm just blown away right now. It's good. So help me build whatever truck thing. I'm that is at. so great, Brad. Yeah. It's yeah. Good. You know, um, actually, <laughs> I'm just smiling from ear to ear. Twenty twenty four tax law. You get eighteen thousand dollars. You can gift to someone else without having them write it as income. There you go. There you go. Wow. Yeah. It's wow. True. Yep. Yep. Send a gift. Wow, yep. Sarah. We got to make sure we tell Bra- uh, Andrew that. Well, it's for me. I'm what like, did you? Uh, oh, it's for well, you. He won't have to write it. Oh, as he, a, won't. Yeah, he won't he, have to say like you can deduct it. It won't matter for me. OK, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have to. He doesn't, he doesn't have, have to, to accept pay, his income and yeah. get taxed on it, which oh is God. good. Or else he would have had to pay 4K nearly. Wow. Yeah. Five. Taxes. Did you Six. just read that or did you just hear it or what? No, I read it. I can tell she's been reading is good. Taxes. Yeah, <laughs> reading yeah. is really good. I've been, it's all those taxes. Thank you, Bradley. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, wow. She's, isn't it crazy? What? Like she built a whole career like th- alongside and with me making I, content. I, I think it's there. amazing. He, I remember first time I met him, our first conversation, he told me to drop out of college to pursue what I'm doing right now. And I was like, I can do both. 
and he was like no like if you really want to do this you got to go all in and i finished my bachelor's and i got my master's while doing this wow what oh, did you get savage. what'd you get it in um bachelor's i did psychology with a business minor and then master's i got a, a master's in business fantastic she's a g though like she's different that's Thank amazing <laughs> no that's you amazing are, that's are but, you saying girls can study and boys can't no i'm just saying like not all people guy or girl can't can't it's called follow through, perseverance. But he you know. told me to he was like, drop things. out. He was like, drop out. Give this your all. Thank God you didn't it. listen to that. I nah, mean, that but worked. he knew. He told me the first day we met at the gym, he was like, you'd be successful at this. Like, start posting. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, like, doesn't hurt. Like, he knows what he's talking about. He has like, at the time. So what did you go million. from? What were the small numbers of? of oh, my gosh. Uh, I had a at... thousand followers on Instagram. When 1, I met Bradley, and now yeah. I have 2.2 <gasps> million. Wow. Yeah, well, she crushed it, though. But it's also you because it's your energy. It's yeah. your aura. It's everything. Well, that's I what I like saw. That's what I saw. I yeah. would have never, like, po like I don't think I I know I would have never been in the position I am today if it wasn't for, like, the one conversation him and I had. Yeah, it's crazy. It's that's so crazy. fantastic. I'm so glad. So it is, like, thanks to Brad. Wow. It's Good cool. job. Yeah, and she got, like, it's you know, her own no it's amazing it's so cool it's fantastic yeah life's good man. i mean people don't realize how um i think how much you can earn doing this kind of work but it's also not as easy as it looks i mean coming yeah. up with content is the thing you know it's also and that's a lot it's also a lot of because you don't really have a boss at the end of the day i mean and to some extent like he's my boss but i'm saying at the end of the day you don't really have a boss or someone that's telling you what to do so you only get as much as you put in right yeah which for some people that aren't as disciplined or maybe a bit like which brad has experienced this with people i know like lazier people or that yeah. don't want to put in the work and they want him to do the work for them but there's only so much right someone else can do for you right. to some extent you have to put in you have to put in work be hugely self-motivated yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, it's lazy, not rocket science. I'm not saying it's hard, but people. it's, yeah, you, to some extent, it takes some work. Yeah, 100%. Well, good on you. I yeah. am so proud of you. That is awesome. Thank you. Damn. So funny. <laughs> it's it's fantastic because there's been other people that you've tried to mentor who just, ugh. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. You know what? I told him from the beginning ah, when I met him. Hello. So did I. Yeah. Remember how I came down here? And yep. I was like, wait, you're calling them athletes? And you guys were like, you were like, oh, you're so mad. It was just an I was defending them. I know. It was just yeah. an instant. I've lived how long? And I just could tell. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I learned, I give people the benefit of the doubt. And I know you, you do. That's true. You. you did. That's true. I remember one time I called you crying about something that you had done. Like spreading rumors, and you were also giving the benefit of the doubt then. Trying, trying, yeah. and then I'm like, "What the fuck was that? What did I do?" There's some people you just want to do a big circle around, like for whatever reason. And I'm not judging it, but you just don't want them in your world. No, I'm yeah. judging it now. Now I'm not. And those I'm like, are, I realize you know, that people are absolutely trash, and you oh have to just like, God. if you get that inkling, you have to be like, "All right, hold on." And I hope those, you know, they're not getting numbers like her <laughs> numbers. No, they're not. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what the f not even I don't close. wish him anything bad but I don't really wish him anything and there too is also it's going to be a thing where five years from now they're going to be wondering how the f they're going to keep making money yeah so yeah well and that was the one reason I to go back that I didn't drop out of school because I always think like obviously he is like one out of a million you need or a like, backup yes you need a backup like him and like Chris Bumstead and all of these like big influencers. Yes, you made like a lifestyle out of it. You'll never have to go work a nine to five. But like most people don't. It's That's not the case. Plan A, B and C. Yes. Yeah. It's a yeah, lot it's harder right. to sustain than you think. Yes. Yeah. Sustain oh, I and know. remain relevant because there's yeah. always someone like yeah. newer, better, harder, yeah, and whatever it'll keep, it is. It'll keep doing that. It'll just yeah. keep coming up like that. Yeah. So it's kind of cool in a way because those are the people you want to get on the pod, right? You, all the, the next... Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, we talk to yeah. People, and it's people. just yeah. so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's fun. So interesting. It's just about evolving your content, evolving what you're doing. Because you evolve yeah. as a person. It's it's not like 
you know, at some point there's going to be different people who relate to me than there were before. Right. But that whole thing about what goes around comes around and you get what you give. And like, I've tried to always tell you, like, you don't have to do anything to anyone who wrongs you ever. Yeah. They'll get what's coming. Just sit back and wait and watch. And it might take a long time, but it always happens. I a hundred percent agree. Always happens. It always does. And sometimes speed it up. And sometimes it happens far worse than anything you could have ever done to them. Yeah. I've seen that too. Yeah. Not and I haven't situation. been happy and gleeful about it, but I've been like, hmm. Oh yeah, that's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's too bad. <laughs> I'm not happy, Sucks. like, because yeah. it's really sad stuff, but mm, isn't it interesting? Yeah. I could have never done worse than that. Yeah. <laughs> you I know what I could have what probably. I've seen. Bradley. What? I'm saying I probably could have done worse. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I heard you. You didn't have to reiterate it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, was... No. But I'm not going to. I'm not no. going to. Let it go. You'll see. You'll see. You just got to give things time. Yeah. Karma works. We'll come back in a few years, you know? I will. Come back. No, no. Me come back. Oh, ten years. <laughs> I will. Ten years, you know, ten years. Anyways. Yeah, but you... <laughs> Don't make You're me funny. laugh. But you're... What? You're... It kind of made me wonder, like, when all that was happening, if maybe your judgment with people was kind of off. I think. And like you're saying, you gave them the benefit of the doubt. And that was your sort of. One of my biggest issues has always been the the so optimistic. Yeah. Like optimistically kind of like where you go like, okay, this could be so great. So because I think in my mind what I want it to be, that that person is on the same page. And yeah, that's just not the case. Not. And yeah. they would that, treat the situation the way you would if you were in their yeah. shoes. Because it's just like you've, get, it's like you've been given or have so much, it's like you would just have a li- little decency level of respect that like you wouldn't be such a human. You just, but I'm assuming that because that's who I yeah. am. Not like because that they would be. Yeah. Just because that's how I see you it don't do. Be. Yeah, you don't do it like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, some people are just very ungrateful. Yeah. And it's, it's sad. Yeah, because being grateful is so important in life. I think it's how you continue to get the good things in life. So, and just everybody helping everybody, but not like um, there was a real selfishness there. There was just a really bad energy. Remember, I left like the next day, and you were really mad. You're like, "Why are you leaving?" I'm like, "I can't be in that house. I can't be there. I can't be there with that energy." I should have listened to you. But she said that to you, and you didn't listen. Yeah, yeah. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Because he wanted, he is. likes to try new things, and it's like, okay, great. Uh, and you don't wish for it to blow up in anybody's face, yeah. but yeah, but it, it it hurt, you know. In the yeah. end, it hurt, and but you can't. I mean, again, a grown man, if he gets hurt, he's just got to deal with it. Yeah. True. So true shit. Yeah, but um, do you feel like you can read energies of people? Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably now better. better. Now more yeah. than ever. Yeah. He is very, I feel like now he is very skeptical and cautious. Because I even remember like our first few conversations, because that's what kind of when you were having issues with other people, you kept telling me, you were like, I don't even know if I can trust you. Like you, um, yeah. I've been like screwed over so many times. I don't even know if I can trust you. And I was like, yeah. no, you can trust me. And you're like, that's what everyone it's, But says. I'm telling you right now, there are very few people who are not fake as in this industry. Yeah. Like very, very few. When I say fake as I mean, very, very, very few people who will not just switch up on you just for a little more money. There's very few people like yeah. that. Yeah. And like, that's extremely hard to find. It could because they're not valuing the relationship or trying to build that. They're just, no, keep they just trying to exactly. go on to, get to the next more. step up. And it's step funny because every person that has done that ends up like even like behind from where they were before they were offered something bigger. Yeah. If that makes sense. You know what I'm trying to say? And even Warren Buffett, you know, he's amazing and famous, but he's always said everything business is about trust. It's about relationships. It's really about trust. And that's in our personal lives too. I mean, once that trust is gone, it's. You can't really make amends after that. No, but he was saying you want to deal with people who are honest like you, people that you can trust. That's huge. That's everything. Yeah. And if you don't get that sense, can't do anything with them. Yeah. Um, okay, Mrs. Martin, what do you think are some... Just call me Diane. Diane, okay. Okay, <laughs> Diane. What are some uh, characteristics that you think would be crucial for his future wife, partner? Um, 
Well, somebody has a, a work question. ethic like you do that matches his. Yeah. Okay. Um, someone who likes to cook. <laughs> because you can certainly cook, and you used to cook a lot, but yeah. you prefer to have someone else cook for you. Yeah. yeah. And I always just tell him, I, I don't think women are like that so much today. Like, you got to cook for them, too. You can't just yeah. go, serve me, you know. Yeah. They want you to cook for them, too, you know. It's a little bit different, you know, but I think probably someone more traditional who would do that cooking or not cleaning, though, right? I mean, you, clean. But I clean up, too. Yeah, you can clean up, too. Yeah. Uh, somebody who has their own life, definitely, who has their own world, you know. But so the worlds can kind of merge. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But not super dependent on him, basically. Probably not. I don't think you would like that. I think you want to have somebody who has their own whole thing going on, you know, or, you know, at least a lot of interests or charity work or something, maybe family something with they kids. Care about. Yeah. Yes. You know, yeah. They're just not waiting on you with a plate of food at the end of the day because your hours are so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. you know, um, someone with a big heart like you, mm. someone who is, um, who cares? Because I think you really care about people. Mm. Uh, you care about the world, the state of you know the state of the world. Let's not talk about politics, though. Mm -hmm. um, someone who could just give as much as you can give. I think you know. Someone who is truthful. I think you've learned a lot about truth in the last ten or fifteen years. That's for sure. I think. Truth is the highest form of intimacy when you tell the truth to somebody. Wow, that's a good, I like that. Isn't that? Truth is the highest form of intimacy. It is. Yo, quote that. You're really, uh, from, that is. She job bars. She, that you're is. You're probably, um, it's just about trust, you know? Everything's about trust. Trust is a huge thing. What about your tits? No, um, okay. <laughs> not as much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> he makes me feel funny all the time. I love it. Sylvie's great. And look at everything is gonna fall down with gravity unless you're doing okay. surgery. Well, or whatever. Listen, yeah, gravity for now. We're okay. living. We're in space. All right. So I mean, yeah, that is probably not as important. But I know which that, one am I picking? Um, the bottom one. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 That's true. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. But um, when I was coming up, it was Fuck the top yeah. part. When my mom was coming up, it was legs, legs. Oh, it yeah. Went, like what, what men were? It went were legs, uh, like in the 30s, 40s, mm -hmm. 50s. Then it went chest, Marilyn Monroe and all that. Now it's forever. And now it's, yeah, now it's bottoms, bottoms up. Wow. Yeah. Damn, bottoms up. <laughs> I like that. Bottoms up. Oh, that's good. That was yeah, good. you nailed it. But you, but we can't see our bottom. So what's the point? You know. Well, what do you mean we can't? Who's Other we? people can see them. We don't. We can't really. Well, that's see the them. point. Don't make me get too detailed here. <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> I want, I want, okay, okay. Don't I don't want that either. Detailed. Don't make me do it. Wait, go like this. Okay, brother. <laughs> what? Say, okay, son. What did I say? No, brother. Okay, Bro brother. Okay, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Brad has a new friend. Yeah. Um, Do the celebration. Name? What? Do the celebration. Like, what are you talking about? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, do the celebration. I don't know what that is. Yeah. And then what, say is what is it? Macarena thing or something? <laughs> <laughs> what did is you, that? Did you see the video I did with Sketch? You know, I saw like two minutes of it. Yeah. What do you Damn, think? She's what killing do you think? your watch time. Yeah, is, what the is, he, is he um, a gamer? What is he? A gamer? He's a streamer. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's a yeah. streamer. What's the difference? Uh, Does well, he stream he plays, games? He plays video games and he talks to chat, but yeah, he plays like Madden okay. and stuff. No, you are right. He is a gamer. He also does like IRL, like comes out and like streams. Yeah. But you're, he is a gamer. Did you like the stream? I guess. What, what's, the, what's the hook with him? What's He's the... funny. He's just like super sharp. Okay. He's funny. He's not autistic, is he? Is he? <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> If he is, he's on the very low spectrum of it. He may be. Know. He may be. I don't know. I have no idea, to be honest. He's hilarious. 
So he's very a comedian. He's so funny. He doesn't do stand up or any of that. No, that's I, what he should go to next. Well, stand up right? is such a different type of comedy. It's okay. a very specific comedy. I don't know. Well, he, he could just, just sit. He could just sit with a microphone on stage and pretend he's streaming and do his comedy. Yeah, he's just so like naturally funny. Like he'll yeah. say these one liners, candid. 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 Yeah. yeah. He oh, no, try filter, to, no he filters. Try to be funny. Yeah, stand up is like you got to write. You know. Yeah. You gotta have a whole set, right? So no filters, just like stream of consciousness. Just, exactly. Yeah. Like pure comedy. Wow. I want because you 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 uh still teach kids. Yeah, I work with a lot do, of. Do any of them talk talk about sketch? Uh, I haven't asked. I have to ask, ask. and then I see all the hands go up. But. Ask them. Yeah. Oh, I'll guarantee you the oh, whole like, class. Go t- next the time whole class, class and just be like, "Hello, brother." So say, "What's up, brother?" What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Is that what That's he said? Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, that was good. That What's was up, good. Brother? So, are you saying like from kinder to fifth grade I, or I junior high or junior what? high? Junior high, hundred percent is gonna. Okay, be I don't really do junior high. I do fifth grade. Fifth I grade will know him. Try, I think. Try. I really wow. am curious. Be like, "What's up, brother?" See what they say. Okay. They might just like be like, "Oh my god, this is the coolest teacher ever." Yeah. Why? Just because I know that phrase. Yes. yes. <laughs> Yeah, so yes. like, it's weird how the internet works. That's all over the internet right now. Like NFL players, like rappers, all yeah. of them are just like, "What's up, brother?" Like, yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday. With both fingers, just one. one. What's up, brother? He does that before every. It's just like a thing he just did, like a little like it mannerism. Stuck. It's stuck. Yeah. Like, what did you used to say when you'd come on? Um, what, like a certain saying? No, but like when you did an open, an opening, like you would, you said something. What was it? You did. Hi guys, or so, I don't know. Uh, I can't, uh, what did what's you? What's going on, guys? Bradley. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like that. It's like that. Yeah, it's like his, his little catchphrase. Like, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Cute. Cute. Yeah, it's funny too. People no, he like seemed really sweet. People like he's the word brother because I, I did the two sixty. I was brother. like, I'm two sixty though, brother. Like I did that. Yeah. And then sketch got the brother thing and it went viral. Oh Certain man. Certain things just go viral. No, no, it's oh, not like that at all. It's that just... kid who told you you should have done a shirt with 260 on it. I know. I probably could have killed that, but yeah. whatever. Why can't you still do it now? Yeah. It's, ha- it's already happened. It is what it is. Comments. Do you guys want a shirt stale. that says I'm 260? It would be stale. I'm not stale. It's just like I could have done it at the time, but like I'm, I'm just more focused on raw gear as a whole. Okay. Because you know? okay. I used to do a lot of merch like that, which was just merch, which is, which is great. And I think people do like it, but you're just selling it just to sell it. You know, mm-hmm. I'd rather like continue to build the whole brand thing. Okay. Yeah. Which is a whole nother conversation. And these outfits are dropping on the 19th, guys. Ooh, Live are you going to stand up and show? I'll stand up. She can stand up, yeah. I don't want to stand up and They're do a really twist. They're really nice. If I stand up and do a twist, Look it'd be like that. sauce. Yeah, we got really? the olive with the sage. Not the olive. We have the sage, the black, and this uh, off-white. Yeah, I like the sage. Oh. I love the sage. I do love this off-white, though, too. Oh, yeah. it's very, here. So clean. Never seen it? Yeah, I love this. The, like, I like that it's kind of like a little like cream bony color. Cream, yeah. huh? Yeah. Cream bony. Yeah. Cream bony? You're going to end with that? Cream bony? It's the color of it. <laughs> cream and bony? You're going to say both those things in the same sentence? Wait, I meant the color like... Okay. Just both those things are just bony, bone, cream. Like I don't know. A bony? We could end with your little nickname as a little kid. Oh, what was no, his nickname? No, no, Please. no, no. No, he always tells no. me I can't say it. I, I just no. want to see if he was still. No. Why? No, this is 100% I, I not going I will not on say it. It's not? No. Can Look she, at you. Can yes. she, tell me, can she no. tell me offline? Off camera, fine. We're not saying that. You will never repeat it. Okay. You will never repeat it. <laughs> All right. Yo, guys. No, actually, don't. Actually, no. All right, I no, won't. No, don't ever tell them. Okay. Jeez, why are you so angry it's all the time? A, it's, you, okay, I, I'm going to let her say it. Try to, no, I'm not going to say it, but try to guess what it would be. <laughs> Bro. No. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to go to the street with Nick. Okay. We're going to go to Venice. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Thank uh, you. Every Thursday at 11 a.m. Thank you for coming on, Mom. Of course. Thank you. Thank you you want to go to Venice with us? Maybe. Yeah. Is it fun? And then we go eat. Yeah. Is it fun? You've been to Venice, no? Yeah. 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 Where are you going some, to the beach? Yeah, we're just going to walk around. around Stream. Stream. Okay. Maybe we love Nick you guys. Like, like it. Who knows? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Please, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you want to see more of. Um, comment some guests so we can have them on next time. But yeah. thank you, Diane, for coming on. And thank you, Sarah. Yeah. We love you guys. Continued yeah. success. Thank you. Especially. Appreciate you. Yeah. Bye. Love you. Bye.